Hey guys, I device help here, and today I wanted to take a look at iOS 11 beta 2 on the iPhone SE. You guys requested this video, so I went out and got one of these devices to show you what iOS 11 beta 2 looks like and runs on the iPhone SE. Now, interesting story, if you don't follow me on Twitter, this device came preloaded with iOS 9.3.3. And if you follow the jailbreak scene, you know that's probably one of the best jailbreaks out there. So I updated, uh, I couldn't get myself to, but I did just to make this video. But no worries, I have another rose gold iPhone SE that's jailbroken on that software, so no big deal. Let's begin. Now, first things first, let's get a few things out of the way. The iPhone SE is probably one of the most underrated Apple iOS devices. Now, the reason for that, I think, is because it looks very similar to the iPhone 5, right? But this iPhone is no, no iPhone 5. Look at that. Apple's A9. And I did run some quick tests here. Look at those scores. So let's start with the lock screen. The rise to wake is here. The notifications when you swipe up, yes, is here. You can almost 3D touch, which is a long press on this device. And I'll show you that in a few seconds. You get the widgets to the right, you get the camera. So Everything is as expected here on the iPhone SE. Now check out the control center, probably one of my best and favorite features of iOS 11 by far. So you can long press and bring up the platter. You got all your controls, just like you do on a 3D touch device like an iPhone 7. So everything is identical. I'm super happy that Apple did this and brought the long press onto these devices, including the brightness here. You have one swipe for all right here, swipe, just really really cool stuff here that apple went ahead and did this on the iphone se i want to go ahead and show you here launching applications on ios 11 beta 2 on the iphone se you see no hiccups nothing is slowed down everything is running as you would expect so performance wise honestly the best experience in ios 11 so far has been iphone se believe it or not and the great thing about iphone se is one-handed use i can reach the entire keyboard with one hand it's very comfortable to use the device lacks no performance now that apple take away some of the features that you get on newer devices on this one well let's go ahead and find out let's go ahead and push the camera here and let's go ahead and use the live photo feature which has the new loop effect here so i took a photo i can just swipe up here and you see that nothing is missing you have your loops your bounce and all those effects that you can apply with a newer device you have those here on the iphone se as well so you're not missing out on anything when it comes to features in the camera. Of course, the difference on the iPhone 7 Plus being the portrait mode, but that requires the dual camera sensor. But anything else is here. Everything, the control center, notification center, the keyboard, everything works so flawlessly on this device. I'm very, very happy. And if you have an iPhone SE, I think you're gonna be impressed as well. iPhone SE also carries the file application here where you can file manage, including the fast scrolling. As you can see here, loading like butter, everything is just smooth. Very, very great, very nice on the iPhone SE. I haven't done a battery performance test as of yet. I've only had iOS 11 on this device installed for about uh, six, seven hours, but the performance has been incredible as I showed you there on some of the Geekbench scores. Now, inside of the messages application, there's a few new things and don't worry, you won't be left out. You get some of the old uh, bubbles here, but you also get some of the new effects. So you're not being left out here on the iPhone SE. You get those as well. Moving multiple icons is also possible on the iPhone SE. So don't you worry, you can still move multiple icons they're not leaving that behind so apple is doing a great job with that as well selecting multiple photos so you can select a photo and then just bring other photos along with it and create new folders if you wish that's also possible here and if you're wondering about the new screenshot menus and options you do get those here on the iphone se as well so you can go ahead and crop and edit all these images save them to your camera roll and be done with it so you also get the new screen recorder so don't worry if you're thinking about screen recording on the iphone se that's also going to be possible so nothing to lose there either and if you really like siri don't worry everything is here in ios 11 the new ui the new voice and of course the command hey siri what's the weather it's currently clear and 91 degrees in clear water and of course you get all the information the brand new layout the new uh, voice from siri male and female so if you like Siri, don't worry, it's fully featured here in iOS 11 beta 2. So all in all, the iPhone SE is probably the best experience so far running iOS 11 with no hiccups. Now, a few things that the iPhone SE can do great, in my opinion, greater than other devices is the one-handed use. So the ease of use is here. Battery performance has never been an issue. Performance-wise, the device has no issue uh, running through iOS 11 like it's nothing. So you're not going to run into any issues when it comes to performance or any Anything like that on the iPhone SE and if you like a more compact design 
definitely consider uh, getting an iPhone SE. I don't think you're going to regret it. I love the iPhone 7 Plus, but there's just something about this legendary device that really appeals to me. So anyway, guys, that about brings it into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to click that like button if you did. It's been iDevice Help. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.